Traverse Town? Why am I back? Hmm? Joshua. Nice of you to join us. What happened? Trouble happened. I was hoping one of you could help. When did Sora get here? Bravo, Riku. Why can't he be this quick on the uptake? Yeah, well, Sora's a little... <laughs> <laughs> now, let's get down to the problem. We've got a nasty Dream Eater on our hands. It keeps jumping between worlds. Not only that, it knows how to summon creatures like it. Pretty powerful ones, too. The others are on a mission to stop it, but they need help. The others? You mean Shiki and her friends? That's right. They all found their game partners, and Shiki is over fighting in the other Traverse Town. In fact, Sora is helping them out. Good to hear. So what can I do? Actually, the Dream Eater just reappeared in the Fountain Plaza. I sent Beat and his partner to face it. I'm on it. Riku, there's something else you need to know. Hmm? These two Traverse Towns separated by the portal. I was under the impression they were parallel worlds. But it looks like I was wrong. Wrong how? That's where it gets tricky. After you and Sora left, Shiki crossed the portal to join her game partner. Did you notice players have a mission timer inscribed on their hands? Well, when she got to the other side, Shiki had more time left on her clock than her partner. And when Beat's partner crossed over from the other side, she had less time left. So time flows differently here and there? So what? That's true of any two worlds. Their homeworld would be running on a different time axis too. Yes, I understand that. But if these Traverse Towns were parallel worlds, then time would flow the same in both. But it doesn't. Ergo, they are not parallel worlds. You mean there's a past and a future? No. Impossible. The worlds are clearly separate. It's not just time that sets them apart. As you yourself noted, every world flows at its own pace. Which tells me that for all their similarities, these are two distinct worlds. Distinct worlds? Yes. But this is all conjecture. It's like the same world imagined by two people. What does that tell you? That we're in... The dream. Yes. Bravo again, Riku. In which case, none of this may matter one bit to me or my friends. But to you and Sora, I think it might be a vital clue. Right. Thanks. So you need me in the plaza? Wow. I'm running out of bravos. Be right back. Beat! About time, yo! Beat! What happened to your Dream Eaters? Don't need them when I've got my game partner. And I don't need you! Ah, oh, here we go again. Five seconds ago, it was, where's Riku? And now the act? Whoa! Don't tell him that. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. I'm Rhyme. Riku, right? Sorry, my partner's acting like a doofus. I am not! You always gotta go around and, and garnish my reputation! Since when? You burned that bridge all by yourself. Nobody raises his reputation by lowering others. <laughs> Yo, Riku, you gonna sit there and let her get in my grill? Sorry, it's just... You two are cut from the same cloth. I ain't I know. made of cloth. <laughs> Beat looks and talks like a punk, but there's a heart of gold in there somewhere. Yeah, he's come through for me, so I know what you mean. There, see, I'm a... Rhyme? You didn't just call me a punk again. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we ruffled its feathers. Ready to do this? Yeah! Yep. Me and Rhyme will handle things here. You go after that thing. 
Right. Quantity versus quality, huh? Riku, the third district. We're going to pin it between both worlds. Got it. I got you now! This is my street, yo! You gotta play by the rules! Oh no! Hey! Sora, you got this. This is so tired, yo! Every time we chase him down... I know. But we've got an ally on the other side. Don't worry. Yeah, well... I still don't like it. You know, you are such a good listener, Beat. You're like a sponge, really. Me? I'm not a sponge. I'm just me. <laughs> you mean Daisuke Nojo Beto. Hey! Don't use my full name! That's a weird name. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's time to go. Hey, Riku. Thanks. Yeah, stay cool. We'll catch up with you soon. Mm-hmm. Say hi to Sora. Sure. Riku, remember what I say. Be careful. If this really is a dream, it's going to lie to you. To try and make you think it's real. I got it. What? I don't got it. You and Sora would break your heads on this one. What? You big sad. Thug works for me. We all got a role to play, right? Gorsh, at least he's honest in a dishonest way. Silence! No underling of mine shall be insulted so. Mm. I have great plans for dear Pete and for all the worlds, once I have taken them for my own. Then I've got bad news for you. That day's never gonna come. <laughs> Perhaps you should take a few moments to reconsider. Or does the Queen's life mean nothing to you at all? Mickey! Don't you listen to her! You can't let Maleficent have her word! No! Minnie! All right, Maleficent. Tell us what you want. Let me see. Shall I begin with this world? I much preferred it in its darker, more ominous permutation. You said it. This place needs some lights out time. You're lying, Maleficent. Not even you would go through this much trouble just for that. What is it you're really after? <sighs> Very perceptive. I presume you are familiar with Xehanort, the man who led me to discover worlds outside of my own. You know him? As do you, I see. Yes, he shared everything with me. How to go about winning a heart over to the darkness. And, most gloriously, about the seven hearts of pure light. The ones that would grant me the power I need to conquer all worlds. However, the worlds were too complex. Too much for even me to contain. It seemed I had miscalculated. Then it came to me. Of course, I could go about conquering other worlds in my own manner. You do have the data for all the worlds, do you not? <laughs> and now you will hand it over to me. What do you mean? Don't you bozos pretend you don't remember? Me and Maleficent was trapped inside it. Now cough it up! Why do you want the data? 
I'm afraid that is no concern of yours. Uh, 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 wouldn't want a royal mini mousiness to get a boo-boo now, would we? I see you have failed to recognize the futility of your situation. Very well. Face your doom! <laughs> Maleficent, you lose! <sighs> Say, uh, milady, I think the pipsqueak's right. We better hit the road. I now know that what I seek lies within these walls. Trust that I will eliminate you in good time. Hey, wait for me, Maleficent. Wait! Hmm? You used the darkness to get here? That was reckless. But gosh, I didn't expect you to save us. Axel. Axel didn't. My name is Lee. Got it memorized? <laughs>